Hello, this is Walter Leite, and in this video, I will show you how to estimate a treatment effect using propensity score weights with R. This video corresponds to chapter three of um, my book, Propensity Score Methods Using R, and is part six of the R code. So first, um, We'll load the data set that already has weights. Um, and you see that in this data set here, ERS data imputed, there are multiple types of weights at the end here to estimate the AT, to estimate the ATT. I discuss uh, how to create these weights in, in a previous video. To actually estimate a treatment effect, I'll need the, the package survey, which is uh, very helpful for dealing with any type of sampling weights. So propensity score weights are treated the, sa the same way as sampling weights. Uh, for this specific example, I need this custom option here. Um, you can read about this later. It's specific to, to this example. Uh, to how the data is structured. Now, the, the first thing, when you're using the survey package, the first thing that needs to be done is set up the survey design. To set, set up the survey design means declaring in an R object what the primary sampling unit is. Primary sampling unit or PSU means the clusters. If your data has individuals nested within clusters, you have uh, cluster IDs, which is the PSU. Uh, you may also have a strat ID if the data comes from stratified sampling. In this case, there are strat ID. And you have the weights. Um, so here I'm using the SVY design function to declare my survey design. I'm declaring what my cluster IDs are, which is the PSU, my strat ID, um, and what my weights are. In this case, my weights are final weights, 2006. These weights are a product of the propensity score weight um, for estimating the average treatment effect on the treated and the sampling weight. And I'm declaring what my data set is. And nest equals true, I'm saying that my data is nested with cluster within strata. Um, now, this is the basic setup to, for a survey design. Now, if I'm planning to use bootstrapping to estimate standard errors, I need an additional setup of a survey design um, with the function RS, RSV wrap design, um, which sets up the bootstrapping. So it just converts my original survey design to type equals bootstrap, and it says that I will bootstrap with a thousand replicates, okay? This takes a while to run, so I, I ran it in advance of um, recording the video. Now, there are multiple ways to estimate a treatment effect um, with propensity score weights. Um, so here I'm using propensity score weights for the average treatment effect on the treated. Now, one, estimator of the average treatment effect on the treated is the weighted mean differences. Um, so, and then another estimator is a regression estimator. So I'll show first um, with the weighted mean differences. Um, here I use the function survey by to get the mean of the outcome. This is my outcome by the treatment using the survey design I defined. And the function that I'm applying, in other words, what I want to get out of this is the survey mean. So it's the, the weight and mean of treatment and control. Um, so this gives me the object survey means, which I'll show you, which are just the weighted means of treatment and control here. I have for treatment zero is control, one is treated. For my outcome here, which is um, 
future earnings. I have the weighted mean of the treated and the weighted mean of the control. So, and this is a standard error of the weighted means. Now, to be, the average treatment effect on the treated will be the difference between these two weighted means. And I can obtain that with the function survey contrast. Um, so if I want the difference of the treated mean minus the weighted mean, I have to put what the contrast weights are, which is minus one and one. So it, this will literally take the mean of the treated minus the mean of the control. Um, so after I run this, I get this contrast, which is the difference between weight and means, and it calculates a standard error for me. Okay, so this is the average treatment effect of on the treated. Now, um, if I wanted weighted variances, I can use the same process, just that the function will be a survey var instead of survey mean. Uh, showing me the variance of each group, which are pretty similar here. Now, an alternative estimator of the average treatment effect is a regression estimator. So I still using the survey package, I use the function SVYGLM to fit a weighted regression. Here, just to estimate the average treatment effect, the model will be very simple. It's just the outcome as my dependent variable here and treated as my, my single independent variable, applying it to the survey design. And when I run this, I get these results here. So with the intercept, which is the mean of the control group, and the coefficient of treat one is the average treatment effect of the treated, which is the difference, the weighted difference the between uh, means of treatment and control. Note that this estimate is identical to the estimate I obtained with the just obtaining the weighted mean difference before. Um, the study errors are slightly different, different, um, but still very similar. Um, and here I get a p-value showing that that difference is statistically significant. So that is a that is a significant average treatment effect on the treated here. Um, therefore, for this example, the 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 treatment is students participating in a career academy. The outcome is is future earnings. So individuals that participate in career academy have higher future earnings. Now, and then at the end here, just save all, all these results using the save function. So that's how you estimate the average treatment effect using Professor score weighting. If I wanted to estimate the average treatment effect on the treated, I would just switch what my weight is here at the beginning when I said the survey design, but everything else would be the same. 